What's up folks, Man Amazing here, and welcome back to the channel. So Lumber Yard just dropped 1.16. We've been waiting for this bad boy for almost another month. And with its release, it's added a whopping 250 new features, fixes, and improvements with a heavy focus on the rebuilding of the architectural foundation of the memory management system as well as a lot of improvements to the animation and the cinematic systems, some things with Amazon Game Lift, and a whole bunch of other things. So it seems in previous uh, Lumberyard versions that there were different modules for a multitude of memory management subsystems, which according to Lumberyard made it really difficult to track the overall system memory usage, which would make sense. So with 1.16, and the rebuilding of the foundation of the memory management system, they've been able to condense it down to one single module. So the memory comes from one area, which has reduced memory fragmentation and the footprint by 40% according to pre-release customers. Along with that, there's been about 50 improvements to the track view and animation system. One of the major things and Amazon actually did a video on this, is the ability to drive animations directly from TrackView, which is very reminiscent of the like timeline editor uh, from Unity and Unreal Engine. I'm hoping that this is improved upon even more. I would actually like to see a overhaul on the UI for the TrackView with allowing different tracks, uh, maybe a non-destructive workflow, adding audio tracks and things like that. Uh, just a bit, uh, maybe a more simplified menu when navigating the track view editor. Something that I have come accustomed to is being able to switch between cameras from a cutscene into gameplay with Unity's timeline, uh, with Cinemachine and timeline. If Lumberyard can implement this in their own way, that'll really be great. Now this has to do more so with like normals and when you're baking your character and your UVs, it comes with a, a, a tangent and the industry standard is MCT, MCT space. So with Lumberyard, you're able to now maintain those tangent rules between what you do inside of say, Blender or Substance Painter and into Lumberyard, which is great. And if you do not specify any tangent rules, then Lumberyard uses the default settings anyway. They have also added the getting started guide uh, on GitHub. So now you can submit changes for fixes, improve examples, and rewrite and submit new content. Make sure you check the release notes to find out how to do that. That's very big for the community. Uh, so we can start putting our, in our own input and submitting our own content. And if it's approved by Lumberyard, it gets put into the engine. Along with these major highlights, there have been several uh, improvements and changes. If you scroll through here, there's, like I said, it's been 250 altogether. Uh, some for the deployment tool. Uh, if I am reading this correctly, we can now do things like load the current level. Uh, when you're dealing with mobile, you can select the target device, uh, which is all great things. You have things like the asset browser, where the window has been updated to improve the visual design and implement standard icons. Asset types are now more modular. You can use gems to describe what happens when double clicking or right clicking custom asset types. Oh, that's cool. Source control delays no longer occur when you load a level. Refreshing the source control now occurs asynchronously after you load a level. All in all, I think this is a very solid release. Uh, I'm really looking forward to 1.17 and 1.18 because I know that is where we're going to get more improvements for Script Canvas and probably some more new features uh, that the community has been requesting along with what we have been getting from uh, other studios because a lot of things that have been in this uh, release came from the developments and the needs of New World as well as the Grand Tour game. So along with things like GitHub allowing the community to submit requests, uh, Lumberyard has teams of studios that they're working with along with their own studio, which 
is very akin to something like Unreal, where they're making games so the developers know firsthand what tools work best, what they can use to make their job easier, and that's going to trickle down to us as the uh, engine is being developed. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments about the new version, let me know below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to join our Discord. If you have any questions or comments and you're not getting any help on the forums, you can always join and ask and ask me or any one of the other users. Other than that, hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your projects. And until next time, keep developing.